Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Points of Articulation. My name's Dave. Today is day 8 of the 12 Days of Trekmas. If you're just joining me, each day from now until Christmas, I will be reviewing a Hallmark Star Trek ornament. So if you like Star Trek, stick with me this holiday season. So today we're looking at the Captain Picard and Lieutenant Commander Data ornament. And these two characters were first seen in Star Trek The Next Generation, which is probably, besides the original series, the most successful Star Trek show they ever had. Lovable characters, great stories, the ship was cool. So back to the ornament, it was released in 2017 for roughly $29.95. And for the measurements, it's a little over 5 inches tall, which is very nice. So we got a lot to cover. We're going to look at the mold, the paint, check out the sounds on here, batteries included. How to hang it and then we'll be done so let's get moving okay starting this review off looking at the mold i'm just gonna say it up front the likeness on data and picard are not 100 percent from distance it looks fine but up close as we're gonna see they're a little off but anywho that's the only nitpick i have let's begin with the base we have our logo molded sections and that goes all the way around which is pretty cool on the bottom, it's completely flat, so if you uh, if you don't want to hang it, you can put it on a shelf or a table or cabinet. The choice is yours. We have copyright crap, battery compartment, batteries are included, which is awesome, especially for the price you're paying for this. Now, on the base itself, we have a button for the sounds, which we'll listen to later, speaker, and let's look at Data first. Nice detail on his boots and pants. We got some wrinkles and fabric lines. Data butt. Nice shirt wrinkles. Hand detail. Com badge. And I'll get a close-up of their heads last. But pretty sharp looking right now. Now for Picard's chair. Couple angles here. Flat pieces. And then we get up to this. And I love the angles of this chair. Little recesses. We have cushions in the back. Just awesome. A couple layers here. We have decals, I believe they are, of L cars, which are awesome. The back of the chair, different sections, but it's basically flat. But I love the open areas or the negative space, I guess you could say. Different lines in here. Pretty awesome. Now for Picard, he has a lot of detail in his clothing with all the wrinkles. We have the boots the underneath. Pretty cool. Then we come up to his shirt. His com badge, his rank. Ornament loop. Coming down on his shirt. Nice wrinkles here. Hand detail. And then we have his arm and his great pose here. Now when I think of Star Trek and Picard giving orders, it's always make it so or engage. And this is at hand. He's just ready to call it like, let's go. And I love that. Great job there. And then we have his head, which uh, from distance looks pretty good. So let's take a close up look of the two heads and then we'll move on to the paint. Now, up close on Picard, you can see it does have his well-known face structure, but different things are off on it. Like the way the eyes are done and his nose. It is what it is, but all the other details, his ears, all the wrinkles and lines, fantastic. It really is. Now back here we even have molded detail for his hair, which is pretty cool. So let's move on to Data now. And here we have Lieutenant Commander Data. Now right off the bat, you'll know it doesn't really look like him that much. Looks like Brent Spiner was going down the hallway and somebody scared the hell out of him and he just pooped himself. Oh no! But uh, holy moly. But having said that, the detail is pretty damn good. From his eyelids, his nose, his mouth, you can see little, little dimples and whatnot. Just fantastic. His ears are done nicely, his jaw. And also his hair. Just look at all those molded lines. It's actually really good.
So that basically does it for data. So guys, that does it for the mold. So now let's take a look at the paint. All right, when it comes to the paint, this ornament has a lot going for it. Now to start off, on the base section, we have a nice maroon for the carpet. Maroon sections going around it. And also the black Star Trek The Next Generation logo, which is very nice. Moving up to Picard's chair, we have some tan, orangey, and uh, I would say it's not really orange, maybe a peach color. Blue for these sections underneath here. Silver, which is very nice. I always like when I add that. And the final job is, I, I wouldn't say they're decals, maybe they are. But we have the L cars, which are very nicely done. Hundreds of little buttons, different shapes. That's really sharp. I do like that a lot. Now, talking about Picard, usually we have glossy black boots. Uh, this time it's not. It's basically a matte black for the boot, black for the pants, his shirt. We have red, silver and gold for the com badge and his rank, maroon for the collar, well, red. And then we have a nice skin tone, gray for his hair which is a nice touch. Brown for his eyebrows, and then white and brown for his eyeballs. All in all, nice paint job on Picard. And moving on to Mr. Data, we have matte black boots, black pants, black and yellow shirt, gold and silver com badge, gold rank buttons. His skin is a pale yellow, which is pretty nice. We have what seems to be light gray eyebrows, brown hair, and then his eyes are very nicely done. Now, of course, we have the white of his eyes, but then his pupils, and I'm going to get a nice close-up of this. It's yellow and then black, and I like that a lot. So let's take a look at that before we move on. And here I have that zoomed in, and we can see his, his eyes are kind of wonky, but we can see the yellow and the black pupil. Very nice. Brown hair. And just a very nice job. I think they did decent on him. So that does it for the mold and paint. So now let's take a look at the sound and how to hang this ornament from a tree or stand. Okay, for the sounds, it has a couple lines built in from the TV show. So let's give it a listen. Let's make sure that history never forgets the name Enterprise. Let's see what's out there. Engage. Data, find a way to defeat that shield. That may be impossible, sir. Things are only impossible until they're not. Yes, sir. Captain, I am seeking advice and how to... Yes, I've heard data. I would be delighted to offer any advice I can on understanding women. When I have some, I'll let you know. Do we have clearance? I'm uh, in standard parking orbit. Make it so. Data, I want this to be an away team of one. You. I don't think there's any reason to risk anyone else. It is reasonable, sir. After all, I am a machine and dispensable. Indispensable is the appropriate word. Captain, there is no rational justification for this course. Then I'll be irrational. And that does it. Some great lines from some great episodes. Now, to hang your Captain Picard on the Tenet Commander Data ornament, I will admit the ornament loop on Captain Picard's shoulder is a little difficult to get a hook on there. I cannot get it with the hook I've been using. So I went with a, uh inferior old-fashioned one. And uh, I had to bend it a little bit to not scratch John Luke's head, but get it on like so, and you're good to go. And I just wanted to mention, you don't have to hang this ornament. Like we looked at on the bottom, it's pretty flat. You could put this on a cabinet, a shelf. Choices are up to you. So that does it for day eight of the 12 Days of Trek Mess. Today we looked at Hallmark's Captain Picard and Lieutenant Commander Data ornament, released in 2017. And I really like this ornament. Growing up in the late 80s, early 90s, Star Trek was awesome back then. It was in its prime. We had movies and shows. But for me, it always started watching The Next Generation with my dad, with my giant Enterprise. Uh, Playmates made it. I loved every second of it. So back to this ornament. What makes it stand out? First of all, the detail is great. A little off with the face sculpt, but keep in mind, these are done by people by hand. So I definitely have to give them credit for attempting it. 
It is pretty good, especially from a distance. Fantastic job, it looks just like them. But up close, yeah, you saw it, so. Moving on, the paint is amazing, especially on a chair and the suits, the faces, the L cars on a chair, very nice touch, I like that a lot. And finally, the sounds are very cool for the most part. One sounds like they ripped it off a TV speaker, but I like the quotes. A lot of them are, I guess you could say, inspirational or famous for his little one-liners that he shoots out. But nice choices, great model. Now I recommend this ornament for anybody who's a fan of Captain Picard, Data, The Next Generation, or Patrick Stewart or Brent Spiner. It is a very nice ornament. So that's everything I have to say about this ornament today. I hope you enjoyed my review. If you did, hit that like button. And if you want to see new reviews every Thursday, subscribe. Again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.